You're listening to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle and online around the world at KEXP.org. And we welcome a good friend into our studios today. It's so nice to have you here. It's Jessica Lee Mayfield. It's great to be back. Thank you. I was going to say back for many visits, but we've actually hosted you in a variety of locations. We have luckily had you here in our Seattle studios, but you've played for us in Austin and New York as well. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. It's been, I think the last time I was here in this studio, though, it was like 2000 nine or something i think so long one of my first times i ever came to seattle actually so thank you for having me back well it's, you're always welcome and i absolutely love the new album and i'm excited you're gonna play songs from the new one today yes, yes. all right uh, jessica lee mayfield take it away songs from make my head sing Jessica Lee Mayfield live on KEXP. Tonight she plays at the Crocodile with Israel Nash. The new album, Make My Head Sing. That one was making my head sing as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. How about another song? 
Yeah, uh, we're going to do one called Standing in the Sun. Lovely. It's Jessica Lee Mayfield live on KEXP tonight playing at the Crocodile. And again, such a pleasure to have you in studio. It's so great to see you. You look amazing. Thank you. You always look amazing. It's so fun to see you perform live. And today you are here with uh, some great musicians and some good friends, I understand. Uh, yeah, I'm here with my uh, husband, Jesse Newport, and my not husband, Matt Martin. I like him all right. <laughs> uh, he's a good man your early albums white lies with blasphemy so heartfelt had a very uh, country sound with rock and roll in there as well but the melancholy heartache of your song really gave it that country inflected tune and you have definitely grown up right before your fans eyes those songs were written um, they were so strong and such poignant stories and You've got a little more rock and roll edge here on the new album, and it only makes sense that, you know, you've lived life and you're evolving with your music. You were a young adult when you wrote those early songs. Do you feel like a change from record to record or this record in particular? I, you know, it's weird to me just because I don't, I don't focus so much on how things like change and evolve, I guess, and it's... And when people no notice it, it's always interesting to me in, in what ways, you know, because I, I could have very easily come out with this record and everyone could have said that it was a polka record and it would have became a polka record, you know? Well, John, like that polka you're doing, <laughs> it's like, it's just whatever people say it is. You yeah, know? genres have gotten a little bit ridiculous. And really, uh, and people are really put a lot of stock into what, you know, what a genre is and a lot of times to the point to where they're not gonna listen to something without deciding whether or not you know if it's not in their genre that they listen to then 
and it's like, well, maybe you should listen to it because someone might have told you it was a polka record, but it's really a rock record, and you might like it. So before a magazine tells you you're going to like it or not, you should just try it out. Well, I'm definitely not going to try to pigeonhole you in a genre, but one thing that is front and center on all your albums and all of your songs is that just that powerful voice that uh, as i said with the melancholy tinge to it but there's just so no denying that you're rocking out a little bit harder on this new album well yeah i definitely think just the feeling and the mood that i was in made this when i was writing this album made it heavier and and i had the means to make it heavier i got a uh, i got this baritone guitar i got a guitar amp from Jesse, I got some pedals, you know, and and I think that too is a lot of where I grew up uh, surrounded by a lot of acoustic instruments and no one would, would buy me louder ones. In case people don't know, you grew up um, playing in a family band that was uh, more acoustic oriented, you could say yeah, bluegrass. I grew up uh, playing with my uh, mom and dad and brother in a bluegrass band and uh, my parents and my brother tour separately now. My mom and dad tour as a bluegrass duet and my brother, you probably know him, David Mayfield, he tours as the parade. Something in the water where you grew up, (laughs) clearly. Where are you living these days? I live in Ohio. Okay, still. Yeah, yeah. And I heard that you and Jesse hunkered down and Uh, worked on this record together. Yeah, we, uh, it took us nine months to record it and we, uh, produced it and mixed it together and uh we call it our record baby (laughs) and it was it was really one of the most intimate things i've ever done was work on this record with him because it's like songs that are kind of about our life together and all the bad parts because i write about all the bad stuff that happens in my life so it's really it was a definitely intimate awkward thing for us to be alone in the studio sort of hashing out these feelings together in an artistic way. Boy, the end result is amazing. Make my head sing. (laughs) And as I mentioned, a little more rockin' edge to it, and yet you've chosen a three-piece to represent this, which is just sort of a classic way to uh, represent a rock record live. Was that intentional on your part? I just wanted to make things easier in a lot of ways. I've had, you know, up to six, up to a six-piece band, and and I think just even work-wise and personally cramming all that, all those people into a van and expecting everyone to, like, get along. And <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it's easier on so many different levels to just, and on stage, you know, it's like, here's the three things that are happening. Because sometimes you see a band and there's so many members and you're like, I don't even know what I'm hearing or what's going on. What's that guy doing, you know? So at least you kind of can get it, at least for me, it makes everything simpler. Well, you're making a lot of sound, just the three of you together, and you seem so happy. You say you got to find that strife to be able to write those songs, but I hope in general life is treating you all these days. Oh, it is, and uh, you know, writing, writing is a way to get get all the bad stuff out, so I I can be all right. Well, Jessica Lee Mayfield is here in the studios at KEXP, and more music. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do one called No Fun.
awesome. Jessica Lee Mayfield live in studio here at KEXP. So sorry to say we only have one more song from you. But tonight she plays at the Crocodile here in Seattle. The new album, Make My Head Sing. Thank you for having me here. Oh, thank you so much. So we're going to play a song called I Want to Love You. You going to make it to the Crocodile tonight, Cheryl? I just might have to. That's quite a lineup you got there. Well, I'd love to hang out. That'd be fun. Come out and join us. <laughs> Jessica Lee Mayfield, songs from the album Make My Head Sing. Tonight she'll be at the Crocodile with Israel Nash, and it's always great to have you live in studio. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's so great to see all of you. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.